Dark Wayasin, I'll see my chicka siam. Good day. Starting a little early just to get some breaths and place the video where it needs to go. Good morning, happy rising, aho matakoyasin, o siam siam. Our official meditation will start at 7. I just wanted to open things early so I could put the video in the right place. Welcome and blessings, and welcome to arrive here and take some breaths. Deep, slow, cleaning, cleansing, inhales and releasing sighs clearing your body, mind, and spirit, and inviting the light of your higher power into this space, into the sacred space of healing. And this morning, I ask and invite you to call in, or whichever time it is for you in your world, I invite you and ask that you call in your own shadow side, any darkness you're working on, any inner conflicts or ego that you're working on, uh, admitting or facing fully and I'll remind this again when we begin at seven so as you arrive just settling into your breath and considering your intentions for the shadow side of you what is being transmuted right now, what is asking to be cleansed, cleared, released, let go of, burned away with the powers of Shiva, any energies of the ego that are stuck, stagnant, we're going to work on clearing them, burning them away, burning them away with our breath of fire, and burning them away with sound and mantra. So as you arrive, Connect to your breath and settle in for this next five minutes. Settle into your soul and your heart's calling. Great creator, blessed be all revelations. Just take this five minutes to settle in and contact your intentions for release, for transmuting, alchemizing the shadow and the ego side. Be honest with yourself now. What do you need to face at this time?
really connecting to your breath. As we begin to ground ourselves in growing our roots into Mother Earth. And the energies of the elements start to ground you to the earth. Burn away the old, activating your digestive fire. Clearing and opening and inviting the breath of the universe in through the lungs, the energies of the air. And as the mind settles and calms with light pouring down through your body, waves of love unconditional come from the energies of the sacred mother and the waters. Just taking this next couple minute, couple more minutes to really just sit with your breath, sit with your intentions for letting go. And I'll remind all of this at seven when it's our official start time. Namaste, Satnam, Namaskar, Ahom, Takurasin, Osyan, Wajkasya, Masheashe. Through all our relations in Nakasha, Lakini, blessed be to you, Creator, Mother Earth, Father Sky, Mother Earth, an infinite child that is expressing within all of us. Blessed be, welcome here this day. Gratitude to Creator, Father Sky, gratitude to Mother Earth, Cosmic Mother, Cosmic Mother, Father Sky, creators of the universal flow of the infinite child within me. I thank you for this breath of life. We thank you for this breath of life. As you arrive to this session this morning, I ask that you tune in deeply to your inner conflicts, to all the old energies that are no longer serving you that you are ready to let go of. Face these fully. We will be calling in the power of our inner fire with breath of fire and a Kundalini Kriya called Ego Eradicator. And we will then be spending some time singing and attuning to with mantra to the sacred energies of Lord Shiva, Nataraja. Nataraj to come dance through us in the sacred fire, in the sacred ring of fire, to burn through the mental fluctuations of the mind and clear all that is no longer serving, breaking apart the ego, dissolving the ego, breaking apart the old mindsets, the old paradigm, dissolving it all. And inviting that energy of the uh, balance of the four elements of creation, earth, air, fire, water, into our bodies with our intentions and with our breath. So as we begin, we will start with first inhaling the arms up above head, palms come together, pull them down to your heart center, and we'll tune in with the mantra, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. Deep inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo 
So our breath will be breath of fire. It's practiced with a pumping of the belly. So the belly button goes in on every exhale and the exhale is going out through your nose in a rhythmic fashion. You can practice this with uh, the tongue out connecting to the diaphragm and the breath like panting like a dog. When you stick the tongue out really far and you exhale forcibly, you'll feel how the belly button goes in towards the spine naturally as this extension of the tongue with a breath actually activates the diaphragm because with the tongue out, the diaphragm can only push in in order to press the air out. Some kind of anatomical connection, just like how when we practice lion's breath, it purifies the digestive system, digestive fire. So you can start by panting like a dog. And when you get a feel for the stability in the shoulders and yet the belly button pumping with the exhales, uh, these forcible exhales, strong, powerful pumping breath, then you can close the mouth and realize the breath pumping itself and the air for the inhale just comes in naturally in between the pumped exhales as the space re-expands. And then there is a, mu a double mudra. These are linga mudras or shiva linga mudras with the fists, the thumbs sticking out wide. You'll bring the thumbs together in front of the heart, inhale them up, and then exhale to bring them to about a 60 degree angle. <laughs> I'm really close to this window right now, so I guess my thumb will rest right on top of Shiva's ring of fire. And in this uh, position, you're envisioning a golden archway or a rainbow archway of light connecting the tips of the thumbs, clearing the crown chakra, and washing light down through your whole body. Maybe you're not somebody who visualizes very well, but you can imagine or feel, feel a sensation of a warm trickling down over your body as we do this. And this uh, Kriya will actually build heat in your system, activating the inner fire, and that inner fire is going to burn away the stuck energies in Manipura or the solar plexus chakra, and raise the Shakti force or the Kundalini essence energy up from the base of the spine, all the way up and out into the top of the head. So yes, we are now tuned in, and I believe you understand the exercise. So we may begin. Inhale the thumbs out in front of you, fist to, thumbs together, fists closed. Exhale, the arms come up. Inhale, big breath out. Inhale, opening that archway. Feel that archway of light, a rainbow arch or a golden arch of light above the head. Deep inhale, exhale halfway, and begin your breath of fire. Looking up and out through the brow point or up through the third eye. Remember this Kriya is called Ego Eradicator. So if you have struggles, doubts, insecurities, emotions come up during this Kriya, know that that is part of the work and it is working on burning away those aspects of the ego.
One more minute. Deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale, bring the thumbs together above head, exhale, draw the thumbs and fists in front of the heart, deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> release the hands down to your knees, roll your shoulders out a little bit, feeling into your shoulders, feeling into your heart. And we'll move into a Kriya or part of a Kriya for activating the heart chakra and also breaking through barriers. So you're going to maintain your Linga Mudras and you're pumping with the breath of fire, fists coming forward. And I like to imagine that I'm cracking through my barriers like they're panes of glass. And a breath of fire pumped exhale on each time you push forward with the fists. And again, looking up and out the third eye. more minutes breaking all your barriers.
One more minute. See your obstacles smashing away like panes of glass. Smashing through ego, smashing through fear, smashing through doubt, making it all clear. Breaking through obstacles and barriers alike, casting away all the shadows that you no longer need, and rising in the light. Twenty more seconds, a little bit faster. Get some force in the arms. Deep inhale. Lift the palms up. Inhale. Exhale. Our hands come together, pinkies and thumbs united, finding a Padma Mudra, Lotus Mudra at the heart center. Breathe here into the lotus flower, rising from the base of your spine all the way up through the spine into the heart, opening at the heart, and then rising up and out through the crown chakra, envisioning the growing lotus of your soul, the seed of consciousness blossoming into its full expression. energy, anything that you are letting go of, and light washing through you. Exhale through a circular mouth. And next one through a smile. Inhale. Natural breath. Bring your hands into chin mudra. Palms face up on the knees both Gyan or Chin Mudra.
Deep breaths. Remember that the deeper you breathe, the deeper you go. And now, we will call in the energies of Shiva. And we'll chant Om Namah Shivaya Jai Shri Shakti Ma. Om Namah Shivaya Jai Shri Shakti Ma. 108 times together. Shakti Mama, Om Namah Shivaya, Jai Shri Shakti Mama, Om Namah Shivaya, Jai Shri Shakti Mama, Om Namah Shivaya, Jai Shri Shakti Mama, Om Namah Shivaya, Jai Shri
Namaha Shivaya Jai Shri Shakti Mahama Om Namaha Shivaya Jai Shri Shakti Mah 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 Om Namaha Shivaya Jai Shri Shakti Mah
Inhale your arms up above head. Palms come together, pull them down to your heart center. Deep inhale. Bow to yourself, honoring yourself. Bow to Lord Shiva, honor Lord Shiva. Bow to the Shakti essence, Prakriti all around, the nature of the divine. Thank you to the goddess, thank you to the god, thank you to the divine masculine and divine feminine within us for uniting our energy bodies, minds and spirits in order to be able to bring in the most high vibrations of light and destroy all that is no longer serving us here on planet Earth, all the old, unnecessary, ego, illusionary mindsets. May they dissolve with the power of love and devotion. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. May all beings be infinitely happy and free. Blessed be. Um, thank you for joining me this morning for this session. Our next session at 11.44 is a little catch-up session and um, maybe some movement, I think. And then there is a cacao ceremony at 2 p.m. Um, if you have not yet registered for the retreat, you can do so and uh, get the Zoom link for the cacao ceremony or there will be a broadcast of it as well in a safe video. And uh, yeah, and then the evening session at seven. So thank you, namaste, satnam, blessed be. Thank you for joining me this rising, happy rising to you and may Shiva guide your way through clearing all that is holding you back.